So we are going to design a Halloween pumpkin in this video. I am going to delete the default cube by pressing the X. You can see the short keys here. And for the light and camera, I am going to hide it. So Shift A, so we can add a mesh. Shift A, and in this menu, we are going to select our UV sphere. So UV sphere is added. And now I am going to edit this. So if you want to change the uh, properties you can do it here so i am going to select this uv sphere press tab to edit it and now we are in the edit mode you can also go from here the edit mode and object mode so in the edit mode i am going to select this top point this one so press select this one and then press one on numpad so you are in the front view i am going to uh, move it in the upward direction by using the proportional editing so it will also affect the uh, relevant the connected vertices so select this proportional editing and now press g to move it and then we want to move it in the z direction and this circle you can see it it's it's basically uh, telling us how many vertices will be affected so all the vertices in the in in the circle are going to be affected by this uh, move tool so i am going to make this diameter of this influence uh, like that and move it in upward direction and then i am going to select uh, make sure the proportional editing is selecting and this top point is selecting press g and z and no decrease its diameter like that and we are going to make it like that so it's going downward and now go to the bottom side select this vertices press one on numpad and g to move it in the z direction and increase its influence diameter of the proportional editing and make it like that you can also see the my dimension how much i am moving and also it's in this corner you can also see the dimension if i am going to select this vertices for example and g and z and moving that on the left on the top you can see how much i am moving but this is just for explanation i am going to press esc on keyboard to cancel it and now this is the simple shape we achieve just and press s and now i am going to deselect this proportional editing tool and here i am going for the snap i am going to activate it and make it to the vertex so we want to snap this one with respect to this these uh, vertices to make it flat g to move it in the z direction and move your cursor here so this little circle is turning at it's snapping with these vertices so it will be on the same plane like that okay then one and again uh, deactivate this snap and again select this proportional editing and this vertices this complete loop we want to select it so press alt on keyboard and select this vertices and press s to scale it scale it scale it like that so we scale it 1.229 so this is the dimension for me then then i am going to press tab to go to the edit mode and we are going to shade smooth it so this is the shape we achieve it and auto scale okay now i am going to choose the subdivision modifier uh, so sorry solidify mo modifier Go to add modifier and add a solidify and press shift z so you are in the wireframe and x-ray so basically i am going to deactivate the x-ray okay now this solidify we are going to add the depth okay only in the x-ray view so we can see how much we are going to uh, solidify this at the thickness so we are adding the thickness inside of this object so that's enough okay now apply this and we have this shape which have the thickness now go to the edit mode and see everything is good tab and go to the shift a and we are going to add a cylinder 
and S to scale, make it smaller, then press G so we can move it in the Z direction, press Z and place it here just a little bit inside of this and now we have this so this we are we are going to make it our stem you can also change the name here so for this cylinder it will be the stem okay now select this one and i am going to press ctrl a so we can apply the scale and now select this one and go to the object mode uh, sorry edit mode press it and then shift z so you can see it in the x-ray and press one so you are in the press one in the front view and here i'm going to activate the toggle x-ray so we can see it okay now i am going to select these bottom vertices because our uh, x-ray is activated now we can all also select the all the vertices uh, of this cylinder press one on numpad and box select this vertices i am going to press g and move it in the z direction but make sure that the proportional rating is deactivated and g move it in z direction move it here and now i am going to press e to extrude it and extrude it at this point then s to scale it like that then again e to extrude it in z direction so it's automatically snapped with the z axis and at this location x to scale it then e to extrude it again and s to sorry e to extrude it in the z direction place it here then s to scale it then e so it's going inward and s okay now i am going to select this top top face press 3 on your keyboard so you are in the face selection shift z so you are in the solid view select this face i am going to zoom out now e to extrude it extrude it in z direction at this point and here i am going to press r so we can rotate this face a little bit like that then one and now i am going to again press e to extrude it and just press z so it's not extruded it in the z direction and place it like that and now select this face and as to scale it so this is the stem and now we needed to select this loop so press 2 so you are in the edge selection and press alt and select this loop then control b to bevel it and rotate your middle mouse to add the vertices like that okay now we are going to press tab so you are in the object mode and shade smooth it and auto okay now this this is the body of the pumpkin select it press tab so you are in the edit mode and now here we are going to select some faces and we are going to extrude it so make sure you are in the face selection mode and i am going to select press alt and here move your mouse here on this and select this face then select press shift and alt and select these two then leave the next two and select these two keep doing it select all of these by leaving two and then selecting two by make sure you pressing the alt and shift so it's selecting the complete loop keep doing it and here i am going to select this single okay then i am going to press alt e so we are in the extrude menu and here i am going to select extrude faces along normals and extrude it like that okay now same way select the remaining faces alt and press here so it's select this loop and then press shift and alt and select this one rotate it rotate it keep doing it keep selecting it so basically we want to add a bump here so make sure you select all of these which are remaining okay then again alt e so we have the extrude menu and we want to extrude it along the normals 
like that and here i am going to press a so we selected everything and press one on your keyboard so you are in the vertex selection mode and then i am going to go to mesh uh, sorry right click and here we can see the smooth vertices so it will smooth these vertices and i'm going to make it like that and then press tab so you are in the object selection and here i am going to select this one shape smooth it so we have these little bumps here so let's see if we add the subdivision surfaces so it will smooth it add more vertices and the edges okay and here i am going to apply this so we increase this uh, extrusion we give a little depth so when you do it make sure you keep it a little bit smaller so you have this smaller bumps okay and now we have to add the face so for this face you can see uh, we have different types of the mouth the eyes and nose for for these pumpkins so you can select any and make these but for me i am going to make it something like that so this is the simple thing we are going to do it so first i am going to add the material so select this one and go to the material properties add new material this material is for the body and again add another material and new and this material is for the stem so for this body we are going to assign the body material and for the stem i am going to assign the stem material so select the body material and here we are going to change the base color and i am going to select go to render and for me i am going to make the render cycle cycle and make sure device is gpu and plus zero on your keyboard numpad so you are in the camera selection and here i am going to go to this output properties and i am going to make it render engine and crop to render so we only want to render the area which we want so how you can do that press ctrl and b and here i am going to select this area so it will only render this area so camera is selected press alt and b and now select this area so it will only uh, render this area so okay i am going to show the light and add the scene shift a i am going to add a plane and we are going to scale it then control a apply the scale and i am going to select this press tab select this edges press 2 so you are in the edge selection select this edge e to extrude it and z so you can extrude it in z direction and press 3 select this face g to move in the x direction like that and for this light tab to go to the object mode select this light g to move and move it in the x direction place it like that I'm going to select this slide shift D to duplicate it and place it here and select this one the object data properties of this light and we are going to make it area light and select this 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 blue this uh, yellow yellow thing and grab it here and here we can make it basically we want to grab it so it's going on this and this one is the color the power is higher we are going to make it 200 
Yeah, it won't reduce good to on your so. So this is the view which we want to render it. So press Ctrl Alt and then zero on your numpad. So the so the camera will only select this view like that. Okay. And here I am going to change the select this one. And we are going to change its color a little bit. Make it sharper. And for the metallic, I am going to increase it. For the roughness, we are going to decrease roughness so we have some reflection. Okay. Color. Yeah, it's good. And no select like this stem and the material for it will be green. Okay, it's good. You can select this surface G to move it in Z direction like that. So select this light, this light and that's good. Now we want to add these noses and eyes and mouth. Okay, so press zero. Go to the solid view, view shading. And here I am going to select this object, this plane. I am going to hide it and all of these lights. Okay, now shift A and we are going to add a basically plane and we are going to rotate it r y and we are going to press 90 like that then g to move it in the x direction like that then i am going to scale it s like that control a and we are going to apply the scale so it will not affect the modifier if we don't apply this scale it will affect when we apply the modifier or when we edit it okay then press tab so you are in the edit mode press one on your uh, sorry three on your so we want this view x so you are in this view so you can see it on the front and g to move it and place it here and we are going to make these eyes so i'm going to select this make sure you selected all of the vertices as to scale it like that and control r to add a edge loop in the middle so we are dividing it and then place it here like that then one on your keyboard so you are in the vertex selection select this vertices this vertices this vertices and press m and so you can merge it at center like that and then select this g to move it in the z direction so just the design of these eyes in which way you like we can also move this vertices in the y direction like that and g to move it like that so this is the design of the eyes you can move these vertices as you like so this is will be your pumpkin so do it as you want Okay, next I am going to select this, all of these faces and press E to extrude it in the V direction like that. So we simply extrude it and make sure you G and Z, sorry, G and X and move it like that and press tab so you have one eye then press one and move it like that so we are seeing in the minus x and here we are going to use a modifier and we want to mirror it 
so it's mirroring it along this x-axis we want it to mirror it along the y-axis and remove this x-axis so here we have this one and this press and apply this okay so control z so we did not apply the modifier here select this one basically i am going to cancel this modifier because i needed a copy so select this and press shift d so you have a copy place it here now select this one and add the mirror modifier and along the y and we are going to mirror of this oh. okay we are going to apply it apply this mirror then one on your not one minus x and here select this one and then press left click and here we are going to go to the set origin set origin to the mass center of mass origin will be shifted here then r to rotate it and make it like that so it will make sense it is a nose and s to scale it and also select this one and scale it like that then g and z to place it at this position and it's looking good you can change the size or the rotation so for this one we have to uh, rotate it so it's good now we have to add this mouth thing i'm going to scale it a little bit g and z so nose is here okay shift a and we are going to add a plane or to rotate it in the y direction and type 90 and then rotate it g and x move it at this place one sorry not one for this one so minus x select this one so it's in front of you then s to scale it and scale it like that okay now i am going to type press ctrl a apply the scale tab to go to the edit mode ctrl r and we are going to add a loop so when you press ctrl r your mouse will be here on this object and it will add a loop here so if i move it here it will add a loop here so at this position we need a loop so if i click left click it will place it and but it will take us to the move so now we can move this so but we want to place it in in its initial position we click left click so it will be in the center and now the vertex we are in the vertex selection mode so select these two vertices press s and we are going to delete the now we are going to delete sorry select these two vertices then press s and we want to delete these vertices so we have the half plane then press tab to go to the object mode and here we are going to apply a modifier so we are going to use the mirror along the x y axis and make sure the only y is selected and don't apply this modifier so go to tab and make sure the clipping is activated go to tab and select these two vertices press g and uh, move it in the x direction at this place so this face is okay so we are going to go to the edit mode and i am going to apply this one basically this operation we did not needed it because we are going to make these mouth and teeth okay then tap to go to the object mode and here i am going to so basically i am going to add two loops here and two loops here to have this one control r and two loops here place it in the initial position control r two loops control z control r and here uh, rotate the middle mouse button so it will change the quantity of these loops so we have two loops here and two here and then control r and add a loop in the middle a vertical loop 
sorry horizontal loop and we have this one so now we want to we want to make a teeth here and a teeth here so we are going to uh, remove this face so press 3 select this face x to delete and faces and this will make a uh, when we are going to use the boolean it will uh, keep the material here and also this one press to delete this face and for the and no press one so you are in the vertex mode select this vertex this vertex and then s to scale it and make it like that again this vertex this vertex s to scale select these two vertices by pressing the shift s to scale and make it like that now for select these two vertices s to scale select these three and s to scale and you can press G and place it here, G and place it here. Okay. No select, press A to select every everything. Then we are going to press E to extrude it and extrude it like that. So that's good. Now see the magic, press A and here I am going to activate this X-ray view and select these, these things and we are going to type Ctrl J to make it 1. So basically we are going to use the boolean, so then G to move it in the X direction and make sure this object, this object, these cutter objects are passing its thickness g and x and like that so basically the, this is the thickness from this to this is the thickness so these object must pass this thickness and we are going to toggle the x-ray view and i am going to add a boolean here and which is here we want to make the difference select select this pumpkin then add modifier and we are going to use a boolean and for the cutter object select this one and fast and when you hide this plane you can see we make this parts okay so here you can see the things are cleared so we are going to shade smooth it auto so we will remove this and here you can see we have this okay no plane minus x so here this 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 cut is making on here i am going to press g and x to move it little bit here oh here we have this cut okay no press Go to the. I am going to do this, and for this one, apply this modifier. I'm going to delete this one, this cutter. Okay. Now we have here the only thing we needed, we needed an object here and apply the emission material so the inside will be glowing. So shift A and I am going to add a, a UV sphere as to scale it and I am going to go to the X ray view. So we can see where it is as to scale and one need to move it at this place and go to the material properties shade smooth this one this sphere add the material new material and for this material we are going to make this surface click here on principal BSD we are going to select the emission and select this color and we are going to give it emission glowing like that so the inner is glowing and increase its 
and we can also change the material of the inside so here i am going to add another material and for this one i am going to make it a uh, yellow and select this pumpkin press tab to go the go to the edit mode three to the face selection mode so press select these faces all of these faces we want to change the material for these faces so select these faces for the teeth eyes not this one these faces so make sure you select it and then for this one we are going to select the material one and assign these faces to this material like that and here i am going to select this one face then control plus sign to select all of the inside material and also sign okay so now go to the render tab so this one has the material of body So the material two was was for the inside for the body. I am going to select this and apply the material. Control Alt Zero. So this is the view. You can render it. Go to the render property cycle here for the noise. For the render, I am going to make it. Make sure this is check and go to the output property and you can select the resolution according to you and the output make sure you select selected the location where you want to save it and so make sure for the resolution you can change it according to you and for the properties so that that's it this is the simple explanation we did not uh, added the good material for it you can just try it and make sure the it's uh, look little bit realistic and here the inner surfaces why i forgot are uh, basically a step and uh, where we can like separate the inner inner faces and then we apply a material uh, a different material to the inside and, and that will make a good a good scene so when i doing it i just basically forget about it so that's why we we are uh, i did not change the material of inside it's only glowing and for this one we can make it
okay so now you can render it 